Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can install custom maps in Minecraft 1.13. But first, what if you're looking for a Minecraft server? Well, check out the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash MC server. That will take you off the game servers where you can get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. Play with your friends, have your server up all the time, and don't have to worry about giving your IP address out to anybody. That server is incredible. We use them ourselves as the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash MC server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So first things first, we need to download a custom map. Now, the link in the description that will take you to download custom maps will take you to here. This is our website where, as you can see, we have 15 custom maps for 1.12. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, we're, we're doing a tutorial on 1.13 here and because of that, this is a bit of a problem, right? 1.13 maps haven't came out yet. There's not enough to do 15, but uh, we will update this. But currently, it's not updated. By the time you're watching this, it should be updated. But nevertheless, this is what's linked in the description down below. However, I have this map over here already prepared. I don't know how good this map is. I don't know how bad this map is. All I know is that it is an up Minecraft map updated for 1.13, right? It's a map. It's a custom map for 1.13, and that's what we needed here. So I'm going to go ahead, download this map, and this map is linked in the description, by the way. So there's that as well. It downloads in the bottom right down here. Now, if we minimize our browser, it should be on your desktop. If it's not on your desktop, don't freak out. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in downloads exactly like that. Hit enter and it should be in here, your downloads folder. Go ahead and just drag it to your desktop for ease of use. Once it's on your desktop, you want to go ahead and right click on it. Click extract all and then click extract. That's going to then open this up. And then we want to open up the folders that are in here, right? So we have Powers Beyond, and that's it, right? Once you see Data Packs, Dim1, Dim-1, all that stuff, then you've went far enough. You don't need to go farther than this. What you want to do is actually click the back arrow up here. So click on that, and then drag this to your desktop, right? Now we can delete the extracted file up here, as well as our uh, file we downloaded. Now, with the folder you have left on your desktop, you should open it and be able to see data packs, data, dim1, dim-1, all of this stuff. As long as it's some of this, right, like dim1 and dim-1, you're okay. If you don't have like data packs and all that stuff, that's fine, but you should be able to see dim1, dim-1, and a bunch of other files here. So once you've got that, you can go ahead and close out of this, and now we need to install it. To do that, it's pretty easy. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Don't go to Downloads this time, though. Go to percent app data percent percent app data percent that right there and then go ahead and click OK. Now you want to go into your dot Minecraft folder here. Then you want to go into your saves folder down here and then you just want to click and drag the, fo the file that uh, you have on your desktop into your dot Minecraft folder, right? So you just click on it, drag it into there and there you go. Now let's go ahead and open up our handy dandy Minecraft launcher here. Once we've got this open, we just need to make sure that 1.13 is selected, and it is. Click play, and because of the new and improved loading times of 1.13, we're not going to be here long. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really does mean the world to me. So here we are in Minecraft. If we launch into single player here, we should be able to see, there it is, Powers from Beyond. Double click on it. Uh, I know what I'm doing here. This is on a pre-release version. You shouldn't have that, but uh, if... As long as your map was actually made for 1.13, this is on a pre-release version, so it's kind of messed up, but it should still work. Yeah, it does. So that's why it gave me that warning. Click start. No, don't go through the portal. We've been attacked. Wait, what happened? Dun, dun, dun. This actually looks like a cool, kind of cool map here. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Enjoy whatever custom map you have installed. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out, guys. Peace.